Everyone got a little excited about yesterday's news poll. The two parties level 50-50. Everyone likes a close fight and that last minute goal, that incredible MotoGP pass under brakes on the last corner of the last lap, the crowd cheering the winner from behind. So yesterday, Mike Graham claimed for himself the title of underdog. That's the word he used. Interesting derivation, underdog, curious etymology. That would make Liberal leader Isabel Redmond top dog. But here's a bucket of cold water. The Liberals have two elections to win, two races, and Labor only one. It works like this. At the last election, four years ago, Labor won so many seats, 28 out of 47, effectively 30 out of 47, that the Liberals first have to win back the seats they lost to Labor at the last election. That would take them just back to where they were before then, which was in opposition. And that's just race one. Now race two. Liberal has to take extra Labor seats, and the famous Macarius pendulum shows why that's so hard. Labor holds most of its seats by huge margins. Even if there's a statewide 7% swing to Redmond, the Liberals will win only five seats. Mike ran on the podium, Bob Ellis pouring the champagne. And even if the result is 50-50, still no change of government. There are independents in the mix. The Liberal has to win that dogfight. Independents have made minority Labor governments before. South Australia has had half a dozen stable, effective minority governments and a few rotten ones as well, but there you go. The election result, a week and a few days, a Labor government propped up by the independents if needed. Dish out a ministry to taste like Carleen and Rory. Labor without total control of the upper house, but they've learnt to live with that. Rand sees out his decade as Premier and then he's off. Sly dog which means lucky in an endearing way.